Hi there and very warm welcome to this tutorial teaching you how to set up a rabbit wallet for the uh, Stellar Network and then engaging that uh, rabbit wallet with the LumenSwap uh, Stellar Dex. Okay, so I'm going to take you through all of the necessary steps. Very simple step-by-step -step instructions that will um, enable you to do this very quickly. First thing we're going to do is we're coming across to our extensions and we're going to manage extensions here within Chrome. We're going to click on to um, the extensions and just off the screen there we're going to open the Chrome Web Store. In the search bar we're going to enter rabbit spelt like this okay not rabbit as in the animal but you can see it's a, a play on words. This is the correct one so we're going to click onto this one. We can see that there's uh, 400 odd users that it's saying that it's got at the moment and uh, it looks very very similar to the MetaMask wallets that you're probably um, quite au fait with. So we're going to add that to our Chrome, we're going to add that extension and then this is going to appear right up here. Now what I always do at this uh, at this time is I come up and I just pin that so it appears okay so I just put the little pin so it appears there so I'm not going to lose it or think that I haven't installed it okay. Now we've got this so if we click onto it, we can see that it's asking for a password and to confirm password. So if we put a password into here, we can put in, uh, what should we put in anything for the tutorial sake? So if we just put Lumen Swap as our password, right? <clears throat> as I said, this won't be used again, so it doesn't make any difference and we continue. Now we're going to create a wallet. And it's going to ask me to call the wallet now. So we're going to put, uh, let's call this tutorial and create and there we go that's as easy as it is so now you've got a wallet you can click operation and this will allow you to send okay we can click off that we can receive and it will either give you the QR code so you can scan that or your wallet address All right so this is this is as easy as it is so this is now set up right here in my browser. What I would say to you is if you click onto here, you can see that you've got settings, right? And then you've got obviously the different privacy modes, etc. there. So this little um, circle at the top, uh, you can click onto that. You can import a wallet that you've got already. You can create another wallet. So in case you've got multiple different accounts that you need uh, on the Stellar Network, you can create another one, call it something different. Very, very simple. Yeah, you can click here and you can see that you're onto the main net or the test net. Yeah, so the, the options are there should you wish to be a developer using uh, the test net. Well, and that's it. I mean, there isn't any, this is going to give you the history of transactions and this is going to give you your asset balances. If you want to add an asset there, what we have to do is we have to just click onto this and then we can either search assets, right, or we can put a custom asset. If we put a custom asset in here, we could put the code and we could put the issuer and then we can put the limit. That's optional, but I would just put these two in and then we can add that, right? Simple. Or we can search an asset uh, on there and then we can add it this way. So either way, whatever you want to do, you can use the Block Explorer to get that data and then you can put it in, right? But this isn't really about that. This little look around and you can see it's super simple. We obviously need to get some funds into this wallet so we can take this address and we can go across to a centralized exchange such as Binance, but there are others, whichever one that you prefer to use, um, that has um, XLM on there. And then you can send your XLM from your centralized exchange into this wallet. Or indeed, what you can also do is that you can... Um, send it from another wallet. So you might have Freighter, you might have um, any wallet, doesn't matter, Lobster Wallet, who cares? It doesn't make any difference. You can send it into this. So you can populate uh, or you can um, get some XLM into this wallet multiple different ways. Um, and that's it. There isn't anything else um, that you really need to know. This is your private key, which is important, clearly. So you do need to know this. Uh, we can edit the name should I wish to change the name here um, you can edit the name but we can show the private key now this private key right, will enable us then to put this wallet into a different place okay just as it said at the start you know 
come, do you want to import when we looked at the settings import wallet we can put the private key in there but if you want to go the other way around to that then you can do it this way and then you can show the private key and then you can import an existing wallet should you wish to do so so you can import it on the front end and you can also get it so you can import it elsewhere okay uh, so that's it there's nothing else to say about it you know it's set up it's done